Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel today. We are checking out one of the tallest mountains in the state of Missouri. Sitting at about a thousand feet right now, came all the way from down there. And we're gonna work our way back up, see what we can find. But so far, it's a pretty good view. Let's get to it. So in case you guys did not know, uh, about a third, almost half of Missouri is in something called the Ozark Plateau. Uh, it's a mountain chain, quote unquote, sm that's uh, smaller than the Appalachians. Uh, we call it the Ozark Plateau, and I'm at one of the tallest peaks in Missouri. We don't have very big mountains here in Missouri, obviously, but uh, yeah, show you guys the view. Yeah, sitting a little over a thousand feet. Stopping for some water. Sun's up there. But yeah, the main trail's just down that path, but this is a stark difference from, so I'm from the Missouri River Valley originally. Uh, so we're down in the Ozarks, which is farther south than I usually go. But I don't know if you guys can see all that down there. Plenty of farmland and whatnot. Very, very pretty. All right, let's get moving. All right, I'll show you guys some of the trail as we go along here. But definitely very rocky. Lots of evergreen, uh, eastern red cedar, a bunch of dead stuff though. We have lost a bunch of our leaves already this high up down in the lowlands, uh, not quite yet. And then we do have a lot of just dead trees as well. I think there's been uh, some diseases going around the tree bark and whatnot. Hopefully the conservation department will be able to sort all that stuff out. But yeah, I'll definitely show you guys on the way back. Uh, the views are quite spectacular. Nice little chair. Alrighty. You know, growing up, I always loved the red cedar, I know they're not the best for the environment, so we should probably get rid of some of them in different parts of the state. However, they always reminded me of being out west, the juniper and the other cedar trees and whatnot. I still like them, even though they're not the best. But yep, I don't know how far the trail goes. We're about a mile in, uh, maybe less. So where I guess we'll see. Well, just opened up into this clearing. I think we're reaching the summit. Just came from back there in the timber. Beautiful, beautiful. I think I'll work my way over to that other patch of timber and then uh, maybe make our way back down. Unless the trail keeps going on in that case. Right, just keep going. I am not a geologist by any extent. I am not too, too sure what kind of rocks these are. I know we have some iron and copper down here, so I don't know. I'll have to do some research, but if any of my geology majors out there what the hell I'm looking at, let me know. Cool, let's go. These are the type of views that I look for when I go out on these hikes, guys. Look at that. Definitely not as spectacular as, say, the Blue Ridge Parkway, the Rockies, or even parts of the Great Plains, but just magnificent. There's little places like this all over the United States. You just have to go and find them, you know? Apologize for the wind. It's at a thousand and seventy feet. Absolutely beautiful.
<clears throat> well, we're going up even higher. I think we're probably closer to 1,200 feet now. More rock, more evergreen, less deciduous. Definitely nowhere near the alpine. Still a stark contrast to the majority of northern Missouri. Still a little bit rugged. Due to hiking, it would definitely be a lot more challenging. A little bit how they have it on cedar. So something interesting about cedar wood is it does not rot. At least most of the time. I'm sure anything can rot if you give enough time and pressure. Look at that, guys. Awesome. So, for the people of Buko. Well, everyone, we have reached the summit. I'll stand up and give you guys a little bit better of a view. Oh, somebody must have got lucky. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to come up here for deer season. I don't know how many deer they are, but honestly, the view makes it worth it. I don't know if you guys can see that bird up there. I might go down and explore these woods. In the woods. Short with the camera. Yeah, this is it. I'm gonna check uh, my elevation, hang on my phone. See how high up we go. But my guess is probably. Why don't you look at that view? Right, our goal is to get all the way down there without any ships. Let's get down there. Definitely some interesting terrain, to say the least. Definitely a lot stronger now than I was a couple months ago. I'm recovering from that hip surgery I had back in May, so definitely doing a bit better. This would be fun to get down there. This would be some nice country, though. Deer and turkey, and however, the only problem is you'd kind of have to quarter the thing out, get it out that way instead of dragging the deer, because you're not dragging the deer up through all that. You'd be damned. So, let's get down here. Let you guys know when I'm down. Well, we dropped off about 50 feet in elevation. I wonder how far this will take us. going to be pretty quiet for a decent portion of the next few minutes because I want to see if there's any big game back here because we are in the, like I said, the territory for elk, definitely deer, turkey and whatnot, and if I'm yapping my trap off, they're, uh, they're not going to show themselves, so to it. Now, we're pretty fortunate here in Missouri that we have so much uh, 
oak trees that drop acorns, and this is an ATV tree. I gotta make sure I'm not on private land right now. Okay, I just looked at my map, and judging by the topography, so all the 1,100 foot stuff down to the 800 foot above sea level mark is all public land. There's a map I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna name drop this place, but I'm gonna follow that trail that way, or that way, I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna see where it goes and see if I can find the edge of this place, because if I can hunt this timber, this will be perfect. All right, y'all, so this is what I believe to be either just a marker for the road from the conservation department, or that means this side is private land. Now, in a situation like this, the map says I should be good to continue forward, but just to play it safe, because I don't want to be trespassed on somebody's land, because that's not cool. I've had to deal with that on my own property. Uh, I think I'm probably just gonna head back up and there's some trees and whatnot along uh, this side of the ridge, so we can definitely see if those are huntable or not. But yeah, uh, better to be safe than sorry. I don't think that's the private land, but I just want to be certain before I go up. So I'll probably find a conservation officer at their office down the road and ask. Better to be safe than sorry. I don't want to get shot at by some hillbilly. Anyways, back up we go. Well, folks, heading back down the mountain, if you'll call it that, and on this little rock outcropping just off the trail a little bit. Nice and peaceful, it's like 75, 78 out. A little bit warm for the middle of October. Right? And hopefully it'll cool off here soon. I think we're getting a cold front not too soon. I'm thinking about places to come and deer hunt up here since this is public land. But uh, yeah, I think maybe through there. Definitely where they can get to the acorns that would be important but yeah I am just gonna sit and overlook here at the highways way down that valley down there and uh, yeah sit relax and then uh, stay back and get some more I think